I've got a fun and productive weekend prep up for you, just spending some time around the house. We're going to be doing a deck makeover. I'm going to be doing some cooking and some cleaning. I also have some awesome new recipes to share with you as well as a grocery haul. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to make some eggs benedict for breakfast because I've had this packet of hollandaise sauce mix in my pantry for a while and I want to use it up. So I'm um, making up some hash browns. I just season these with a little bit of Lowry seasoning salt. Okay, for the sauce, one cup of milk in the mix and then a quarter cup of butter and you just have to put this over like medium low heat and simmer it until it's thickened. So for the poached eggs, I just crack an egg into two small bowls make sure you keep the yolk whole and then i've got a pot of water here i'm just going to add a little bit of vinegar to it that helps the eggs stay together when you add them to the water and then we just bring this to um, a boil and then turn it down to a simmer before we put the eggs in and then i'll just heat up the canadian bacon in the same pan as the um, potatoes Okay, so I've got my water simmering. What you wanna do is stir the water around like a whirlpool. And then you take your eggs and drop them in. And then I've got a, a plate with just some paper towels on it. So after the eggs are done, you just wanna remove them, put them on some paper towels to dry off. I'm toasting up the English muffins over here in the skillet. Okay, so Adam said he wants his eggs seasoned with everything bagel seasoning so that's what I'm gonna do okay there you go here's how you make eggs benedict I mean not really proper eggs benedict because I didn't make the hollandaise myself but it's still good Okay, so my deck definitely needed a little bit of a refresh, and I'm not talking about an extreme makeover, but I'm going to show you how we turned this into this. And thank you to Walmart for sponsoring today's video. They are the perfect place to shop online for your outdoor oasis. So first off, we're going to clean up the deck, and then I'm going to share with you all the fun things that I got to make it over. I have a leaf blower because there is a bunch of like leaves and flowers and stuff on our back deck that I need to blow off. So, hopefully this works. I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> so I'm using the broom to get these little flower leaf things out of the cracks and then I'll use the leaf blower to blow it off. Okay, so it's not perfect, but it looks a lot cleaner than it was before. So the first thing I started out with was this rug. So I ordered this from walmart.com and obviously I'll be linking all of this stuff down below, but it was super easy. I did it myself. I carried the rug out there and unrolled it. And next up, I wanted to clean off the furniture a little bit. It's surprising how dirty stuff gets, <laughs> obviously when it's sitting outside all the time. So I just wiped that down with some multi-surface spray. Walmart has everything that you need to transform your space into the ultimate bag backyard oasis without breaking the bank. In fact, I got all of this stuff to refresh my deck for under $200. So it definitely doesn't have to be super expensive. I also love shopping on the Walmart app. It's just so convenient to get what I need and also super convenient and time saving that I can get everything delivered to my door. I definitely knew that I wanted some pops of color. So I found some really pretty throw pillows. I found this new planter and the lantern as well as the citronella candle. And I just love how everything turned out. Super bright and colorful. I love how the colors in the rug and the pillows that I chose kind of contrast with the greenery. So I was able to take one of my plants from inside and put it out in the sun in this new Better Homes and Gardens planter I got. Obviously the citronella candle, the rug is my favorite. I was also able to pick up some new grill utensils and I just love those throw 
zero pillows. I think that everything works together so beautifully. So if you guys are looking to refresh your outdoor space, uh, definitely check walmart.com. They have a whole section on their website for outdoor Oasis products. And of course, I'll link everything that I got down below. And thank you so much to Walmart again for sponsoring this week's weekend prep video. Just because you come over here and stand doesn't mean you get a treat. Okay. You can't just get a treat anytime you want. Okay. No. All right. So Kira and I just got home from getting our nails done. I got red. I don't know. Red is always a go-to for me. I always love a good red nail. And I just saw that dogs bark box just came. This is a good meal day doggies. Okay. So this one is a, a corn dog. Oh, what is that? Murphy loves squeakers. I mean, that one squeaks too. Murphy, who wants the corn dog and who wants the, you want the corn dog? Here you go. Milo, sit. Let's see if he squeaks. Here you go. He's like, what is this? So of course I needed groceries this weekend, so I did do a Walmart delivery order, so I'm gonna share it with you guys a grocery haul. All right, so I did pick up a bag of russet potatoes. I don't have any on hand, and I normally do try to keep a bag on hand because I like to have big potatoes as a side for dinner pretty often, and then obviously I can make other things with them too. I got some celery. I'm gonna cut this up for a veggie tray this week, maybe some tuna salad or chicken salad. I got a ton of produce this week, so some berries, strawberries, two pounds of those, and a little container of blackberries. I also decided to get some of these pre-made salads just to kind of make things easy for lunches for Adam and I, but these are not too expensive and they will make it easy. So I got a Caesar salad with bacon, American pasta, or I'm sorry, American style pasta salad with chicken. So I thought that looked pretty interesting. And then I also got a chef salad. This has chicken and ham, and then a cob salad with blue cheese dressing. I got one avocado, which is still pretty hard, and some Roma tomatoes. I thought I would maybe make some pico de gallo with this. Some sugar snap peas. The kids like to snack on these. And then I also got a head of cauliflower. I've been liking to have that with ranch as a snack. And then I got some angel hair coleslaw. Um, I may try to make pozole this week. If I don't, I'll use this to probably just make some regular coleslaw. I got some raspberries, two containers of blueberries, and then I also got some green grapes. I got some bananas because we were all out of those. Some tomatoes on the vine. I always buy these every week usually to keep on hand for sandwiches or salads or whatever we need them for, cut up for tacos, whatever. Um, I got some baby dill because I want to make some tzatziki sauce because I may make some chicken shawarma this week. And then I got some cilantro for the pico, some garlic. I really like using this, especially when I have recipes that call for a lot of garlic. Um, it just makes it easier to use than the cloves and I find this tastes really fresh. Um, I got some blue cheese crumbles because I thought this would be good with maybe a spinach salad. Kira also likes spinach in her um, wraps so I'm probably gonna use some of that for her for school this week, school lunches. And then I may try and do some smoothies this week with spinach. I got a cucumber, some mangoes. I'm not, well, actually these may be ripe. So I got those just to cut up for fruit this week. Some of the petite baby carrots. I'm gonna try and make some hummus. A couple packages of grape tomatoes and some green onions. I got two big heads of broccoli. I may make a broccoli salad or I may just use it for a side for dinner, not sure yet. Um, I got some cottage cheese. This is the 2% Prairie Farms. And then I also got some Dan and Light and Fit smoothies. Connor really likes to have these for breakfast. Some Faye Total 0% Greek yogurt. I use this in recipes and also in smoothies. And then I got some butter because I was almost out of that. Okay, I have really been liking this Bolt House Farms Classic Ranch dressing to dip veggies in. 
So this only has 50 calories per two tablespoons and the regular Hidden Valley Ranch has like 130 calories. So it's significantly less calories. And I think it tastes just exactly like regular ranch dressing. So if you haven't tried that before, I highly recommend it. Um, I restocked on a bunch of yogurt because we were all out. So I got a four pack of the original Great Value vanilla yogurt. That will probably be for smoothies. Connor pretty much asks me for a smoothie every day. I'll probably use those for that. And then um, I like to have the Dannon Light and Fit Greek yogurt, um, sometimes with fruit and granola for a bedtime snack or for uh, breakfast. So I got one strawberry cheesecake, a peach, banana, lime, and then a four pack of the vanilla. Um, I got a pack of these Holy Guacamole Classic Minis. I really like these because, well, number one, they are single servings, and then number two, it keeps the whole container from going brown, especially if you're just gonna use them you know, throughout the next couple of weeks. So those are super convenient. I got two zucchini and one summer squash. I'm probably gonna use that for a side for dinner this week, as well as the Brussels sprouts. Um, I got some sharp cheddar cheese sticks. Kira always likes to have those on hand. And then I also got for her a couple of Lunchables. I didn't realize I was buying the larger package of the Swiss cheese, but that's fine. Um, I will probably end up making some type of breakfast bake out of this. I really like shredded Swiss cheese in my crustless quiche. So we'll figure out something to use that for. And then I also got some sharp cheddar cheese. Um, I got some Canadian bacon and it's always good on breakfast sandwiches. I have some English muffins in the freezer, so got that. And then I thought we would try the Walmart brand of their oven roasted chicken um, lunch meat. And then if it's good, I'll probably keep buying it. Uh, this is a half a pound. And then I also got some of the carving board um, turkey breast. So this is just kind of like a, basically like a thicker um, turkey lunch meat. It's really good if you've never tried it before. A couple of loaves of bread. So I got one of the Sara Lee Artisano, which is pretty much our go-to white bread. And then I thought it would be good to have some rye bread on hand. So I got the rye pumpernickel. Um, I got 18 eggs, some sour cream, because we were out of that, and then some Parmesan cheese for a couple different recipes and a salad. Um, I had to get a refill of the applesauce pouches. Connor loves these, so I always keep those stocked up. And then this is a little low calorie dessert hack if you're looking for one. So the um, Fiber One brownies are only 70 calories each, and then these little ice cream cups that you can get from Walmart are only 100. So if you warm one of these little brownies up in the microwave and put a little cup of ice cream on top of it, you've got like 170 calorie dessert. It's actually pretty good, so got that. Um, I got some pita bread. So this is the Joseph's Flax pita bread. Um, like I said, I'm gonna make chicken shawarma and then also Kira actually likes to have her tuna salad in a pita. Kind of weird, I know, but whatever. <laughs> Um, I got some thin sliced chicken breast for a couple different recipes and then we were all out of soda so I got some Diet 7-Up and Diet Pepsi. Um, some of the waffle cut french fries. These are really good in the air fryer. Um, I highly recommend them and they're super cheap. And then for smoothies I got a couple different bags of frozen fruit. Um, I really like this one. It has pineapple, strawberries, peaches, and mango and then this one is just a berry medley. Um, and then of course some treats for the dogs, some bones, these canine carryouts. I thought these were so cute. They look like little hot dogs. <laughs> um, and then the Minty's uh, dental treats. I decided to get these instead of the greenies because they were a lot cheaper. So we'll try those out. And that is everything that I got from Walmart. Okay, so what I was working on right now is a freezer meal class that um, a company had hired me to do. It's it's actually a multi-part thing that I've been working on for quite a while. You guys probably heard me talk about it before. And the videos are shot like live, right? So like no cuts, no edits. It's like just me, I have all of my ingredients sent out and I'm just making everything in real time, which is not necessarily something that I'm super used to. Like I'm used to obviously being able to cut things out and edit things and whatever. So as I'm doing this, 
I am making a barbecue beef stew and I put, I have these reusable freezer bags and I had one of them set up in this. <laughs> And I pour, I pour everything into there and like I go wash my hands and I come back and all of a sudden I'm like, that is leaking. <laughs> I didn't want to say that in the video. So I just like, I'm like, let me grab a paper towel. Um, and I put it under there, you know. Um, so anyway, now I'm just transferring it to the crock pot because obviously I'm probably going to cook it up tomorrow. Um, and I don't want that bag leaking all over the place. So this one's going to have to get tossed but that's unfortunate i've never had one of these reusable bags break like that before or leak like that before so anyway i made four recipes i made made rights or loose meat sandwiches which we're gonna have those for dinner tonight i made zesty cheeseburger pasta and i also made a meatloaf uh, which is in this pan right here so the theme of this particular class was kid friendly freezer meals, which I do think they're kid friendly. So enjoying working on in my spare, my spare time. I was, <laughs> I was talking to somebody on Facebook in like one of the YouTube groups that I'm in and they're like, how do you have time to do YouTube if you work full time? And I'm like, well, I mean, if you like, you just have to be a workaholic like I am. <laughs> like if you like, think about it, if you work 40 hours a week, you know, that still leaves a lot more time for you to do other things. I've never not had another job. Like I've always had a side hustle or a separate job or, you know, a second job or I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm just always like that. So it kind of cracks me up when people say things like that. It's like you, I mean, you can find time to do anything you want to do, right? Like we all have the same 24 hours in a day. Um, but some of the people that I talked to on this group, they're very, like under the impression that they can get their YouTube channel like up and running within just like six months to a year on YouTube. <laughs> and I'm just like, do you know how long I had to post videos before I made a dime? Like, I mean, I started doing YouTube. I mean, first I had a scrapbooking channel. I've, I've since deleted all those videos because my camp, my channel's not really about that anymore. But when I first started put, putting, putting out YouTube videos, it was like 2013. 2012 or 2013. The first time I ever made a dime on YouTube was probably 2018, 2019. I probably didn't start making decent money until 2019. Um, so that's what, seven, six, seven years. And it's just like, you have to be willing, like if you're gonna do YouTube, you have to really enjoy it because you have to work for free for a long, <laughs> Like I'm, I'm saying like a long time. And some people do it for years and, and never really make any significant money off of it. I'm super lucky and blessed that, you know, I was able to make this into like a significant side hustle. And of course, to all of you, thank you for watching because those of us on YouTube, we can make videos all we want, but we are nothing without our audience, right? We're nothing without you, so thank you. Um, but yeah, it's just, I mean, it's, it's like any career. You know, it's like when you're like new in nursing, you come in and you're all excited and you're like, yeah, you haven't been jaded yet. You're not the old crusty night shift charge nurse like I turned into. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> anyway, okay, let me clean this stuff up and we're gonna make dinner. Okay, so I made my made right meat and Kira requested um, hamburger helper. So what I did was I just took some of the meat out after it was cooked and made the hamburger helper with it. I think I'm gonna have mine without a bun. I'm gonna have a, yeah. I, actually, I was gonna say made right mash, but that's if it's on fries. Okay, so this is what I'm having for dinner. So I um, decided to put the made right meat on half a bun. So it's kind of like open faced. And then I put a little bit of cheese sauce on there. It's just this Velveeta cheese sauce to make it like a cheese right ketchup, mustard, pickle, and then I have a little bit of this pasta salad. Okay, so it's 10.30 and I am gonna fold some laundry because I really need to go to bed because I wanna get up early tomorrow morning and get the rest of the things done that I need to get done this weekend. And this is the point where I start to get stressed out because, you know, I have a 6 a.m. flight on Monday. <laughs> so I'm like, am I gonna get everything done? I always, I always get everything done or at least the important things, you know calm down calm down um i don't have that much laundry to fold so that's fine so 
things I need to do tomorrow, film a couple videos, clean out my closet. <sighs> please God, please give me the strength to tackle the closet. You know, I think honestly, if I can just say, just spend 45 minutes on it to an hour, I think that would be sufficient, at least to get the stuff out of there. Now step two is like getting it to Goodwill, putting it on Poshmark, all that stuff, but you know, we'll get the, cross that bridge when we come to it. Good morning, happy Sunday. Let's make some breakfast, shall we? I'm trying a new recipe for these bacon, egg, and cheese flatbread pizzas, and let me tell you, this turned out delicious. Okay, so I've got a baking sheet lined with foil. I'm just gonna spray it with some avocado oil spray as the flatbreads. I'm gonna spray those, and then I'm gonna go ahead and crack the eggs into this bowl. Season these with some salt and pepper. Okay, so in this bowl, I've got crumb fresh, tomato paste, and a tiny little bit of sugar and a little bit of water. So, this is what's going to make the sauce. I'm going to stir this together and then I'll season it with salt and pepper. Okay, and the bacon is done, so I'm going to go ahead and remove that to paper towels. I'm gonna use the same skillet that I used to cook the bacon and just put the eggs in there. I did wipe it out a little bit. Add half of the tomato sauce to each one. And then the eggs. And we're gonna add the cheeses. So we have some sharp cheddar cheese and some white cheddar cheese. And then our bacon. All right, then I'll pop these in the oven for about five minutes. Okay, so here's how these turned out. I put the garlic crema on top and the green onions. It looks delicious. I'll let you know how it tastes. Taste test. That's really good. I recommend that. Okay, so I cannot say enough how much we liked that breakfast flatbread. That was delicious. I have to go to Walmart and film a video that I need to get done today because it's due later this week. You know, I suppose I could go film in store when I am on travel for work, but it wouldn't ha it wouldn't be able to be like a grocery haul, obviously, because I'm not gonna like, I mean, I do get some groceries sometimes when I'm on travel, but it's not like buying groceries at home. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. And typically I'm super busy, so I just try to get everything done on the weekends before I go. Hi there, welcome to Starbucks, what can we get you? Hi, um, I had a mobile order for Jennifer. For Jennifer, just give me one second to check on that. All right, we have that ready, you're good to Thank you. Can I get a straw? Yeah. Thank you, have, have a good day. Thank you. So my drink lately has been a sugar-free caramel macchiato. I don't know what I was watching and I saw someone get a caramel macchiato and I'm like oh my gosh I haven't had one of those in forever so I looked up the ingredients and basically the regular ones have vanilla syrup in them but I don't get the regular vanilla syrup I take that out and then I just do two pumps of sugar-free vanilla so then the only sugar in it is the actual caramel drizzle um, and then the rest of it's just espresso skim milk and sugar-free syrup so it's pretty good it's like cold out today i mean it's not cold but it's like 63 degrees and it's been like pretty warm this week so i don't know what's up with that things i need to get done today film this video go home film another video why do people leave their dogs in the car like <laughs> do, do you understand that like do you come to the store and leave your dog in the car? Like, clear, okay, like, it's not hot out today, okay? Like, it would be safe for a dog to, like, be in the car, like, temperature-wise. But, like, this dog is clearly in distress because it's alone in a locked vehicle. What? Why would you do that? <laughs> People's, just, like, mistreatment of animals just, like, boggles my mind. I cannot, I do not understand. I, it does not compute. The only thing about these is that I do wish they would, I know, I, I don't think they're supposed to be mixed, but I like mine mixed, so I end up having to mix it up myself. All right, 
Boom, let's go. Let's do this. Freaking go. Are we pumped up yet? I haven't gotten ready or done my hair, so. Okay, so I'm done in Walmart. I'm happy with what I was able to get filmed. It was a little bit bu busier than I thought it was gonna be on a Sunday morning, but it wasn't bad. It's kind of hard to film <laughs> in the store without attracting attention when there's a lot of people there. And it's like, I don't want, I mean, I'm sure people notice me sometimes, but I'm pretty like stealthy about it. I've never been like asked to stop or been like kicked out of the store or anything like that. Um, but like, obviously I don't want to disturb people shopping. So, you know, I wait until there's no one in the aisle. I'm not like, I'm not out there like holding my camera out in front of a bunch of people. Hey guys, I'm at Walmart. <laughs> I, maybe I should be more like that. I don't know. And it's 10:30, so pretty good start to the day. All right, so this is the tray of my air fryer, and I'm gonna try and clean it with this grill and grate cleaner by Gugon. Uh, hold on, it's not working. So let's see, I have not been able to get this completely clean with like regular dish soap. So I'm hoping if I soak it with this, it'll come off. It's all at that soap. soap. All right, so I don't know that that cleaner did much, but I have it here soaking in some more hot water and soap. But right now I'm just working on cleaning up the kitchen. I've been working on filming a video, doing some meal prep. I prepped some um, breakfast sandwiches. These have got sausage, egg, and cheese for Adam to eat this week. I am browning up some ground beef. I think I'm gonna make tater tot casserole for dinner. This is like two and a quarter pounds of ground beef, so I won't use it all. I'll probably use about half of it. And then the other half is gonna be for chili, which I don't think I'm gonna make today, but I'll put it in the freezer and use it later. But I think this is like my third load of dishes that I've done today. I do so many dishes on the weekends. Usually I load and unload my dishwasher about four times a day on the weekends. I wish I was kidding, but I'm not. All right, so let me tell you what I did for, for dinner. It was like a mishmash of things. So I was kind of cooking two separate meals because I was cooking them for a video, but then I also wanted leftovers for the week. So I made some scalloped potatoes, some tilapia, and some green beans, which is what the kids had. And then Adam and I had tater tot casserole, which I'll pack all these things into kind of meal prep containers so he can take those for lunch this week while I'm gone. Okay, now I'm gonna make some cookies. I don't really have time to be doing this tonight, but I'm gonna do it because I have chocolate chips and it sounds, <laughs> it sounds good. Uh, not necessarily for me, but so the kids and Adam will have it. So I've got a cup of butter in here. I'm just gonna cream that. <laughs> I have to say, the uh, the greatness with which I can make chocolate chip cookies now after baking them for so long is very, like, one of my proud, proudest achievements in life. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Not really, but, you know, I think people beat themselves up when they don't necessarily catch on to cooking right away, and it's a skill like anything else, right? Do you know how long it took me to make decent chocolate chip cookies and pancakes and you know all that other stuff that's kind of hard to learn <laughs> okay brown sugar white sugar two eggs and then uh i want to recommend this to you guys because it makes all the difference in baking okay so this is native vanilla vanilla bean paste um it's probably kind of hard to see but you see those little flecks those are that's actually like real vanilla and this stuff makes all the difference in your baking. I mean, I, it's it's so good. I love using this. I'll link it down below. It's honestly not too pricey compared to like the real vanilla extract that you buy. And like I said, it just, especially if you're making something that has, you know, um, like vanilla scones or sugar cookies or, you know, something that really has that kind of pure, vanilla flavor, it's delicious and stuff like that. Or like vanilla frosting. I bet it would be good in ice cream too. Well, oh, I just got flour all over the counter. <laughs> Two and a quarter cups of flour. You guys are gonna kill me. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get to my stupid closet today. It's 7.20 right now. Clearly I'm choosing to make cookies. You know what you call that? 
procrastinate baking. One teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt. Oh well, no one's gonna die if I don't get my closet cleaned out. Okay, I'll mix this up. Okay, I'll add chocolate chips. Do you guys put nuts in your chocolate chips? Chocolate chip cookies, I mean. I don't think I've ever done that. Okay, who wants to lick the beater? Not you, Milo. All right, so I think there's two things that are essential to good cookie making. The first is parchment paper. It's just so much nicer. Even if you have a nonstick baking sheet, uh, you know, and you spray it with nonstick cooking spray, a lot of times the, that oil will burn on the bottom of the cookies or the cookie sheet. And this just makes it so much nicer. And then second is a cookie scoop. I can remember making cookies like when I was a kid and even when I was a young adult without a cookie scoop and you know, you just use kind of like two tablespoons and they turn out all wonky and they're all different sizes and they don't bake uniformly. So highly recommend cookie scoop. This one is actually Pioneer Woman. I got it at Walmart. Yeah. What, honey? Yeah, I made chocolate chip cookies. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are done. You wanna pull them out when they're like just golden brown on the bottom. Um, that means they'll be perfectly gooey and delicious. Okay, done. I'm not gonna get to my closet tonight, but I am gonna get clean sheets on the bed. You see here, you see where it's discolored right here? That's for me going to bed after I put self tanner on. <laughs> It'll wash out. It'll wash out. <laughs> okay, let's do a snap fingers bed make. One, two, three. All right, this is not fancy, but it's clean sheets. It's good enough. Okay, so before I go to bed tonight, which I need to go to bed like by 10 probably, um, although we'll see if I make it. It might be more like 11, but I have to get up at 3.30 <laughs> tomorrow. So I need to take a shower pack and then like pack my clothes and toiletries and stuff and then make sure I have all of my work stuff together as well. All right, I feel pretty good because it's about quarter after 10 and I've showered and packed all my clothes. I just had some crackers and I'm going to, did I say take my meds? I'm gonna take my meds. <laughs> and I'm gonna go to bed and I'm gonna get up at 3.15 to pack my work bag and get ready to go. Good morning, it's 3.30. Okay, so um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let you guys go for this weekend, but thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you in my next video, bye.